long time no see my beautiful 150 something subscribers how are you for those of you who do not know who i am i'm alicia um i just wanted to do like a quick life update get ready with me video i wanted to do the to do this while i was getting ready for work i have to be there in like half an hour so i need to hurry the up um so for those of you that want to know i did use the norvina palette on my eyes to do like a quick halo smoky eye so to blend it the glitter goes right at the top, which aggravates the shit out of me. But I don't want to bring it all the way up. So yeah. Anyway, I used um, what is this? Incense as my transition shade. And then to create that halo look, I used what is this? Volatile and Passion. And then for the center, I used that summer um glitter right here. And then for mascara, I went ahead and used the milk makeup um crush mascara. If you have naturally curly lashes, I really do recommend just going ahead and buying this because it is amazing. It has conditions, my, conditioned my lash, lashes. I have been using this every single day since May. Um, and how much do I love it? I have two of them. I don't need two of them, but I have it anyway. Foundation, I'm going to be using the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in Stromboli. Um, putting a few pumps on the back of my hand. But yeah, so I quickly just finished getting ready. I just wanna just talk to you guys and say hi, where I've been for the past few months. If you do follow me on Instagram, then you know that that's where I've mainly been consistently posting. Um, I try to post every single day on Instagram. I haven't been for the past week just because there are times when I don't like to post every day just because it's life happens and there's other things to do than just sit on my ass and post a picture or whatever last time I made a video on here it was around nine no ten months ago now because it was in October it was like a Halloween tutorial video um, and it was for Winifred Sanderson that was the last video I ever made because shortly after that I got a job um, if you have watched my previous videos then you know that I was a teacher for two years, a high school English teacher. Um, and I ended up leaving because I could not pass the general knowledge test that teachers in the state of Florida are required to so take. I was out of work for six months, literally applying to jobs, multiple jobs every single week for six months nothing was coming i obviously had to go on unemployment because that's the only way i could make money at the time um yeah, i was very stressed i was very depressed as if you've watched my other videos you know i will link them down below if you give a crap um i'm using my dirty as hell mac 190 sibling brush and my nar soft mac complete concealer which i need more of um just for any spots that i need to conceal which the color corrector got most of it anyway, but I just like to go over it. Even though I don't have to. Um, but yeah. Um, so shortly after I had uploaded that video, Halloween came around. And on Halloween day, I had applied for a seasonal position at a Sephora. I had applied to them Halloween day. Had gone to trick-or-treating, didn't think anything of it. And then my mom and I... We're going down to the mall and I decided to stop into the store that I had applied to and in a way they kind of knew who I was already because I had been a consistent shopper there um, since I had moved down to Florida like I was always in there um, so I went in I spoke to the assistant manager and that's when I kind of mentioned I had applied um, I know it's it's only been a few days, but I was just wondering if you had gotten it, if you had seen it or anything like that. I'm going in with my Cover FX powder and translucent light. I typically use my Beauty Bakery one, but I ran out. I need to get more, but I've been too lazy to buy any more. And using the Beauty Blender, I'm just pressing it into the skin. And she was like, oh yeah, just give me your name and phone number and I'll check. So I was like, okay. Um, I left, went home that night. I had gotten a phone call from them. And 
they're basically like, hey, you came in earlier, we wanted to do an interview with you. Um, I'm going in with the three steps to sculpt from NYX. And this is in the light. I thought I got to grab the medium one, but this is like a perfect shade. So I'm just going to go ahead and contour really quick. Went in, talked about everything. And then the assistant manager was like, I like you. I want to hire you. I'm going to have you be the manager. So I was like, okay. And they had given me everything. And I got the job that day. Now, like I said, being seasonal and holiday, that does not mean that you're going to be kept on long term but I was going to be kept on long term. There was no option for me to be like, to give them any reason to say, hey, you're leaving after seasonal. That was not going to be an option. So I worked my ass off. Anywhere that I can prove myself, anywhere that I can learn, I would purposefully go and help clients about products that I knew about. Having them hear me know and be educated about these products, that's what I wanted to do. Um, and eventually like it came close to holiday being over and I went to the assistant manager and I said hey um I really do want to stay and I just want to know like if I should be looking for a new job or not and she's like we'll talk to the, the manager or whatever a couple days afterwards we spoke I had another interview ended up staying um which now I am a color artist um for them I do makeovers and stuff like that Side note, I'm using the Morphe bronzer in Debutante. I got this at Ulta in like the little area where you go before you check out. If anybody can tell me that if I can get this in a fuller size, let me know because I'm obsessed with this bronzer. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that's basically what happened. And that's where I'm at now. Also, my, I'm officially a published writer and a published author. Um, I had applied to a writing internship maybe around the same time that I had applied to Sephora. I knew it was an internship, I knew a lot of magazine and writing jobs wanted to see that you were interning somewhere before they actually hired you. So I saw it on LinkedIn, I had applied to it, I was, this is like when I was like super depressed and just lying in bed doing nothing and applying to it and had an interview and now I am the chief recruiting officer for that so I conduct the interviews now. I call people and get the information and stuff like that. I read their stuff. I let them know if they're accepted or whatever. So that's also been a great opportunity as well. Do I make considerably less money than I did as a, than I did as a teacher? Hell yes. But am I happy? Hell yes. I am very very happy. A little stressed out about money but I'm still really happy. Um, also, side note, I'm taking Wisp from ColourPop, their um, Super Shock highlighters. I'm using my ring finger to apply this, and I do this before blush. And I'm bringing all the way up. And that's why I wanted to make the video now too, because I felt like it was just time for me to talk to you guys again because I did miss making videos. It was just trying to figure out when I could make videos because now I work five days a week. I have two days off. On those two days off, I don't want to wear makeup. I don't want to do anything because I usually write and conduct interviews on those two days off. So that's basically what I do. So I didn't really have time to sit and do videos like this that much. But I'm deciding to just take this more seriously and do something what the fuck are you kidding me anyway this is a blush brush this was a blush brush from BH cosmetics I'm not gonna look for the freaking handle of it I'm just gonna go ahead and use it whatever this is California from benefit it's gonna swirl this around and smile so yeah, I love going to work every single day. I'm, like I said, I'm stressed out about money, but my job itself does not stress me out. Um, like teaching did. Even as a teacher, like I was comfortable with the money, but I could have made more because I was still working a second job. Um, and just quickly before I add more highlight and, whatchamacallit, and my setting spray, I'm going in with the NYX No Filter, um, powder and medium olive 
This is very similar to the Micro Smooth Powder from Sephora collection, um, which is not available in a lot of areas. So I think they're revamping it. I'm not 100% sure, but this works exactly the same. Then I'm also going to go back and take the Norbina palette and just go with my under eyes to smoke out any area that I want to smoke out with Volatile and Passion. I want it to be very dramatic and I'm bringing it down just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Um, but yeah, that's basically what has been going on. Just shortly after making that video, everything came into fruition. Um, and the universe, God, whatever you want to call it or believe in or whatever, I think was really preparing me for that. And I truly started believing in the whole good things come for those who wait type mantra just because I was, I was getting very impatient. I was really close to giving up and not knowing what to do when all of this was happening. I want to get back into making tutorials. I want to get back into doing re reviews. Not so much reviews though, I think, like not as many reviews as I am going to do tutorials, I think. Um, just because I see a lot of reviews already and I don't want to. I want to see more tutorials. And that was that's what I felt was lacking at the time too, was that this content that I wanted to create on here just wasn't taking off. It could just be I'm a boring fucking person. I don't know. But <laughs> that was just it. I'm taking Dreamer. I'm just gonna go ahead and do an inner corner highlight. Cause that's what I always do. And that's how you always know that I go into work later than I normally do. Because my looks are more dramatic the later I go in. I think I'm 12 to 9 tonight at least. I th yeah, 12 to 9. But yeah, that's basically what was going on. I just started working and getting in the flow of things all over again and I just became busy. But I wanted but now I want to start doing videos and everything like that. And I'm taking this is the Bad Girl Bang mascara. I personally like this better as an under eye mascara than I do as a regular mascara. If you guys want a video where like I just talk about my experience working at Sephora, let me know. Cause it's definitely a lot different than the videos that I have watched about like people's experience working at Sephora. Um, and I'm taking the Morphe setting mist and just spraying my face. Really focusing on the cheeks. And I'll show you why in a second. Also using a Morphe M510 brush. I'm going in with the BH Cosmetics and It's My Ray Ray highlighter and eyeshadow palette and i'm going to be taking radiant and maybe no I'm taking moonlight maybe some radiant i don't know but the moonlight is a really nice white shade and patting it because i want it to be super dramatic look at that it's also the lighting in it but like what the fuck like that is so pretty Lips. I was going to use American Woman from NARS. I can't find it. So I'm going to be using Le Freak instead. Which is a little bit lighter version of American Woman, basically. And this is the mini power mat that you can get as a duo. Yeah, that's it. That's just been my quick life update. I got a job. I moved. I'm a lot happier and I've just been just busy, but I've, I've been consistently a lot more happy than I can say I have been in a while. I can't wait to be making more videos for you guys. Um, I have a lot of ideas for content and stuff like that. You guys have a great day and I'll see you guys later in a next video. Bye guys.